And so there are so many challenges facing PVC collection for a lot of people is the time they have to spend. Others have highlighted the um, attack on INEC facilities. And to help me talk about this, or join me to talk about these challenges, is um, a public affairs analyst, Chukuma Kenwa. Good to have you join us. Yeah, thank you. Let's start with the um, attack on INEC facilities, the latest being in Enugu State. Um, INEC had said it was just, a, I think it was just a security um, security building that was burned because of the quick response from, from um, police um, security operatives. But just in general, how, how, what's your response to the attack on INEC facilities and the impact it might have on the 2023 election? Um, can you hear me, uh, Mr. Chukuma Kenwa? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. All right, so I don't know if you had my question. Okay, the, 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 the last part of it, that's, um, I didn't get to get it well. All right, so I was asking you um, that a lot of people have highlighted, so we saw the, the attack on Enugu facility yesterday, the Ine facility, and then people are worried the impact that this might have on, on um, the, the election this year, because it's not just one facility that has been attacked. A lot of other facilities have been attacked. Yeah, first, uh, let me commend uh, the police and the other sister agency for, you know, the immediate response. Um, because, of course, I know that the target is not just the building, but, of course, like sensitive materials uh, that has to do with this election. As we know, there is one degree of sensitivity to all that. And it could have also be like maybe something, a record, uh, maybe relating to like a previous election. We probably do not know what exactly uh, the good lumps are after. But I think uh, the message that is on this to the security agencies, on the need, of course, to be more proactive, gather intelligence. But beyond that, this obviously is to create like a, a sort of panic amongst the citizens and to discourage people from even going to collect um, their PVCs, let alone uh, expressing their right to choose the candidate of their choice. Uh, but I think it's also a time for us to understand that Yes, things like this has always been associated with previous election. But one thing that will be different this time around is the uncommon resolve of the people alongside with that of the security. I like belongs to every one of us, and it's our common responsibility to protect it. Whether as a citizen, you hear something, you see something, you say something, and that must be protected by all means. Mm. And we saw what happened in Imbo State, where, sorry, Anabra State rather, where um, there was low, a low voter turnout in the last um, gubernatorial election, and in, in particular local government, the election had to be um, moved to um, moved to another date. And so, are you worried that in states where these kind of attacks have happened, that we might um, there might be voter apathy in those kind of states? Yeah, certainly. Like uh, one thing about violence, it, it has a way of you know, creating like what we call like voter scare, like people are scared to come out to express their franchise. Uh, so like anything violence should by all means uh, be stopped. You know, even like when you talk about assuring uh, voters of their safety, you are talking about, you know, building that confidence in them that the possibility of such violence even happening, it's not there. Not to talk about when we are counting the losses, and in some cases, losing our gallant security men, who we must not forget, the police officers are brothers, they are fathers, they are relations, you know, because I think we've actually come to a point where it just appears, oh, how many police officers and how many citizens? Police officers are also citizens. And uh, the first rule in security should be that our security men are also guarded and protected. And I'm also not comfortable that We've had cycles of these with security men losing their lives, and nothing and love have been done to protect the lives of these gallant men who have opted to serve the nation. So the focus also must be on not just guarding our neck facilities, but as well those who lose their lives in the course of trying to guard our neck facilities. Uh, so let, let me ask you again, um, just now moving away from just the, the security aspect, to the issues around PVCs, like PVC collection. But we know that INEC has postponed, uh, has, sorry, has extended rather by, by about eight days. Um, are you optimistic that 
a lot of people, or we have we have virtually everyone who who is willing to collect their PVC, um, collect their PVC within that time frame. I mean, uh, within uh, eight days is is quite very very short, and uh, we've seen that almost like in everything that we do as a nation, there's no proper estimation like we've seen in the case of CBN. We saw that in the case of uh, NIN where like a lot of dates has to be fixed one after the other because mm. we don't practically estimate how many people actually will be collecting this. You know, if it takes uh, 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 this number of hours or this number of days to attend to this number of people, what is the probability that within eight days we are going to cover, you know, we are going to serve all those that deserve to collect their voter's card? And I think these are some of the technical analyses that we fail to do when it comes to like a policy framework. You don't just come up with policies and at the end of the day, oh, it didn't work, let's add another seven days, like more or less like patch and join. Nigeria should have grown that kind of thing to like practically look at the empirics. How many days practically will it take for everyone to be served? Because don't forget, this is the right of the citizens mm. to actually elect their leaders, and if you will, to employ their leaders. Absolutely. We're monit monitoring um, all the developments just before the general election. Thank you so much for talking to us. Public Affairs Analyst Chukuma Kenwa. Thank you.